and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I have been asked so many times, can I buy a slingshot from you? A slingshot like this takes so many hours to make because the deep 3D curved form has to be carved from a very, very big chunk of wood. But only then is it really comfortable and able to withstand the force of uh, big bands. So when a friend of mine asked me if he can open a Slingshot Channel store, I said, how are you going to do that? And he said, I would invest in an injection molding tool. And I said, okay, but I have a few conditions. This is the product. It's called the Ram Bone. And that's because it, it looks a little bit like this, looks a little bit like a piece of bone, I think. <laughs> and of course, it, uh, it's a play on the word Rambo and bone. <laughs> yeah, it's injection molded from fiberglass enhanced plastics. It's really nice in the weight. It's heavier than wood, but not as heavy as metal. So it's ideal. The form is just perfect. I made the prototype in wood and it fits the hand really perfectly well. A lot of beginners will try to hold it the wrong way, but this isn't a knife, this is a slingshot. So it needs to be good in the hand when the force is applied from the bands under tension. So the pressure point is here and here. This is what it's made for and it's ideal for that purpose. Here you can attach a lanyard um, but you can also saw this off if you don't like it. The fork tips are made for over-the-top flat bands, but you can also attach looped tubular bands, and you can even saw the slits so that you can easily exchange the uh, tubular loop bands if you are a tube shooter. Initially, it is available in two colors, and that is uh, tactical black and NATO olive green. I actually like the military green style. Of course, you can make your own bands and attach them, but I think the uh, shop offers different bands, and these are actually bands made from natural rubber. I think this is the best performing rubber that you can find on the market. Um, it needs to be protected from sunlight because it's really the pure stuff, therefore it performs the best. And uh, it's a great pouch that they also ship with it. Um, I'm shooting 20 millimeter steel balls. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's a powerful band set. This is a setup with the uh, tubular looped bands. And um, this is very clean. And these bands will hold a long, long, long time. And I'm show I will show you how to shoot with them. So you put the ball in the pouch. And then when you draw out, you first direct the bottom side of the slingshot towards the target and then you draw out. In this way you always align the bands over the top of the slingshot. And then you draw and shoot. Just like, like, like that. Here you can see that I cut through the slot so I can easily exchange the bands. This slingshot is made out of plastics so we need to test if it's really strong enough for our toughest bands. Now we clamped it into the vise and attached rope instead of rubber. And um, the strongest bands that, I that I'm shooting is having 18 kilograms of a draw resistance. So we need to make sure that it's holding at least twice that. That will be 36 kilograms. I think that was over 100 kilograms and it didn't budge. If you can draw bands like that, Come and work for me. <laughs> now we'll be driving a truck over the slingshot. And then we'll see if it will still hold. <laughs> okay, we just drove a truck over the slingshot. Let's clean the dirt off. Let's see, there's probably a few scratches. I mean, there's a two and a half ton truck that just drove over it. Let's shoot. <laughs> Works like a charm. This time, a hard surface. 
even less damage. This slingshot will last a lifetime. <laughs> Can you also customize a ram bone? Yes, this is a pre-production model that wasn't perfect in the finish. So I also wanted to know how it's looking from the inside. So I sorted it in two parts and then I reapplied these nice scales made from apple wood. I actually think it's a nice custom now. This is so solid that I even made one with three vicious spikes. So this doubles up as a knuckle duster. <laughs> and uh, this also has a Thera band um, bands on it that they also sell in the Slingshot Channel store. It still is a very good slingshot. Um, the tips are just blunt enough to not destroy the bands when they come back. A brutal slingshot. <laughs> nice modification, don't you think? I'd like to come back to the conditions that I originally talked about. Condition number one is that the ram bones are available for under 20 euros. That's right. An indestructible slingshot, the best design that I ever came up with, for under 20 euros uh, as a end user price. The link to the uh, Slingshot Channel store website is in the text description of this video. But uh, let's not stop at that point, because I encourage everyone who has the talent or the means to make an own ram bone to do that at home and not buy it at the store. That's right, only buy it at the store if you, there's no other way for you because making your own slingshot is so much fun. So, um, condition number two, make it available to the public. Um, so, this is a ram bone that's been printed on a 3D printer. And um, the STL files, for everybody who has a 3D printer at home or at uh, work, it's also available on, as a download, as a free download. And uh, you can find the link in the text description as well. For those who would like to make a ram bone out of wood, the templates are also in the public domain. So if you want to make your own ram bone at home for your own purposes, non-commercially, um, you can also find the download link to the templates down low. Only for those who don't want to do it, who want to buy it for under 20 euros, then go and buy one. <laughs> You're not going to regret it. I'm also happy to announce that the Slingshot Channel store has established a cooperation with Simple Shot in uh, America. Therefore, um, Simple Shot Slingshots is selling the Rambone in the Americas, and likewise, the Slingshot Channel store is selling, a, a selling the Scout Slingshot in Europe exclusively. So that's why you're going to find the products likewise on the website of the uh, related stores. Ain't that great news? <laughs> well, it's a big moment in the history of this channel. So that's it for today. I hope you like it. Thanks and bye-bye.